Hi, we're the Handy Guys, and up next, we're going to show you how to prepare your snowblower for summer storage. So it starts next winter. All right, Brian, so here we are. We're out here in the garage with my snowblower, and for some reason, I left the tank full. I thought there was going to be another big storm. There right. wasn't. So we have fuel in here, and I know we don't want to leave this in here all right. summer long. Ethanol can be a huge problem uh, in engines like this or smaller engines, and you want to make sure you properly prepare this for summer storage or, you know, mowers for winter storage. It's the same kind of thing. So we want to get the fuel out of the carburetor, and there's three different ways we can do that. All right, I know one is we can use stable, right? Right, you can use a fuel stabilizer. There's other brands of this, and you can just cross your fingers and uh, good luck next winter. So you would put it in here. The problem is there's still some fuel beyond this tank down in the carburetor, right? That's right. That's so right. by if I haven't put it already in my fuel before I put it in the tank, that's not going to do me any good just to put it in the tank. I want to make sure I've pre-treated that fuel before I filled up this tank. That's right. So... I like to get the fuel out of the fuel system altogether if possible. Okay. There's, there's two ways to do it on a snowblower like this. Can I just get the, the old turkey baster or something and right, try to suck right. it out of here? Your wife might not appreciate <laughs> that. So right. there, there's two things. One, you can pump, use, a, use something like this. So let's get this one. And what we'll do is just uh, pump the fuel out. Hopefully this all stays together and we don't spill too much. Yep, it's going. And then once I get as much fuel as possible out of the tank, then we'll start it up and let it run dry. Okay. Run it till it stalls. So, all right, so we've talked about we have using stabilizer before you put it into the tank. Now you can pump it out, get rid of the fuel. What's the third option? The third option is kind of an in-between option. You're always going to use fuel stabilizer uh, with this. But what you can do is if you have a little bit of gas in there, uh, you can... Um, start the snowblower up and then turn the fuel supply off while it's running and let it stall. So you turn it on, get the engine going, and then shut it off. Shut off the fuel stall. supply. It'll run for another minute or two right. and then it will stall. So then you only have fuel in the tank and a little bit in the fuel line, but no fuel in the carburetor where it does the most damage. And obviously you want to make sure your garage door is open. You don't want to have fumes of in your course, garage. Take it course. outside and let it run. All right, so there you go, Brian. It's pretty simple. We let it run. It took about, once we shut off the fuel line, it just took about two minutes and uh, it burned off all the fuel left in the carburetor. There you go. But I have heard that you don't want to let this thing run forever because it's not designed to cool the engine in, if it's already warm in your area. So if right, it's already right. you know 60 degrees, you've waited too long, you're in spring, you don't want to just let this thing burn all the fuel and let it run for an hour or half an hour or something right, like that right. because it's not designed to cool right. in those kind so of So one or two minutes, you're going to be fine. Right. So. Uh, that's sort of your intermediary, and I would do that if you only have a little bit of fuel in the tank, um, or maybe it's a quarter full. That right. way you're diluting that stale gas come next winter. Right. Okay, so that, just to be clear, the first option is use stabilized fuel in the tank when you're, you're your last run of the season. You put right. stabilized fuel in there, and so it's all in the carburetor all throughout the system. The second option is to uh, pump out as much fuel as you can and then run it dry until right. it just shuts off. The third option is best, like you said, if you already don't have a lot of fuel in there, is to run it and shut off the fuel line. If you have a shut off on yours, like this one does, and then just let it run until it's burned off what's ever left in the, in the carburetor and right. the, the, the fuel line after. Exactly. So then you, you're good for the season, and then if you only had a little bit in here, the next year you put in fresh fuel, it's gonna exactly. not be a big deal. Exactly. All right, there you have it. There's how you prepare your snowblower for the next winter, and hopefully it'll turn on the first try.